Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically import any documents from Google Docs directly into your Figma files using the Convertify plugin. So to get started, uh, we're just going to go into Figma and open up a new Figma file and then go up to the top toolbar here and click on the resources icon. And if you go to the plugins tab and search for the word Convertify, so that's C-O-N-V-E-R-T-I-F-Y, you'll see the Convertify plugin pop up. Just go ahead and click on that and then you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here or you can install the plugin or save it for later by clicking on this little more options icon and clicking on the save plugin uh, button that shows up. So again, if you've already installed it, uh, we can get to it by right clicking anywhere, going down to plugins, going to saved plugins and then clicking on the Convertify plugin that we just set up a second ago. So once that loads, uh, you'll be able to see that we've got a little interface here that's quite simple. And the main thing we're gonna be doing is changing this default option, uh, which is to export Figma to Sketch. We don't wanna do that today. Today, we're just gonna be focusing on importing Google Docs into Figma. So we're gonna click on this options uh, selector, click on that and scroll down to the import to Figma category and we're going to click on the import Google Docs to Figma uh, option. So go ahead and click on that. So now you can see we've got the import Google Doc to Figma option selected and we've got a few options that we can check here. Uh, so we'll go through these in more detail in a second. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show you how to actually get your Google Docs link set up to be able to use with the plugin. So I'm going to jump back into Google Docs in my browser and I've just got a really simple uh, resume template that I grabbed from the Google templates uh, that comes with Google Docs. And to be able to use this with the Figma plugin to import the document from Google Docs to Figma, I need to just click on this share button up here. So click on the share button in Google Docs. And once that pops up, you basically just wanna change this general access option from restricted to be anyone with the link. So you wanna make sure that this option is set to anyone with the link. And then you can leave this option here as viewer. That's totally fine. So once you've changed those options, so it says anyone with the link, you can then click on the copy link button directly under that. So I'm gonna click that now. You can see the link's been copied. And now I'm just gonna go back into Figma and inside of the Convertify plugin, I'm just gonna click on this input field down here where you can see it's expecting a Google Docs link. So I'm gonna paste in the link that we just copied from our Google Docs uh, window. And you can see here, it's saying that it's a valid Google doc, doc URL. Um, and because we've made it public, um, that's gonna allow us to load it into Figma in a second. So I'm just gonna leave all the options uh, as default, but the only one I'm gonna change is to hide table borders. And what that means is um, by default, it'll automatically include borders for any tables that get imported, uh, which is really handy if you're gonna be importing data tables and things like that inside of a Google doc. Um, but at the same time, in this particular uh, document, the table is being used to lay out the columns here. So if we enable those um, borders, I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm just gonna click on the import Google Doc button and give you a quick example of what it looks like by default. And then we can go through some of those other options that I just mentioned. Okay, so it's finished importing our Google Doc uh, into Figma. So as you can see here, it's gone ahead and imported all of the content from the Google Doc. Uh, as I mentioned, the table that was imported is being used for layout. And so that's why it's got these borders automatically set. So you can either hide those just by clicking on the hide uh, toggle in your Figma designs that will just hide the borders. Or if you know that you wanna get rid of those in the first place, we can actually just re-import that document with the borders automatically hidden. So I'm just gonna check the hide table borders option and click on the import Google Doc uh, again. And this time it's finished importing our Google Doc to Figma without any of those table borders uh, added in. So it's just left it just with the table layout and without those border strokes also. Um, but we can see here, these are all the text layers so we can actually edit this. Uh, so I can put my name up here. I can change the details of this resume uh, as you'd expect. The size of the document matches the size of the document in Google Docs as well. So it's a one for one match as far as size goes. Uh, and you can see we've got all the formatting and fonts and everything like that set up 
uh, as we expect from Google Docs. And it also includes spaces. So between all of these paragraphs in Google Docs, there's a certain space that's being used. That space is also being carried over. So you get that really precise uh, spacing. And that's roughly what it looks like there. Um, so I'm going to run through one other example just to show you uh, what this will look like in a normal document. So one that's not kind of split up into these columns. And I'm just going to go to another template from the Google Docs templates list. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to click on the share button. I'm going to make sure that the general access setting is set to anyone with the link, which it already is. So I've got that. And again, I'm just going to click on the copy link button and jump back into Figma, go back into my import here and get rid of the old URL. And I'm going to paste in that new Google doc URL that we just copied. Uh, this time I'm just going to leave the table borders off, even though I don't think this document has any borders in it. And I'm just going to import that with the default settings again. So I'm going to click on Go import Google doc, and that's going to import the Google doc uh, from the new link directly into Figma automatically. Um, so you can see here that it's gone ahead and imported that document, just a bit of a side by side. You can see that we've got the content, we've got the background color, we've got the formatting of the uh, fonts and uh, everything else that you'd expect. And because this is a multi-page document, it will automatically split up the content across multiple pages. So we've got two pages in this case, and it's gone ahead and split up that content based on the size of that content per frame. Uh, so each frame is basically a page in Figma. So when it imports the Google Docs from, uh, or the, the document from Google Docs to Figma, each of those pages get um, imported as a different frame. So you can see here that we've got um, page one and page two on those two frames. But if you wanted to merge those into a single frame, you can also do that as well. So there's an option here. If you toggle the merge pages into single frame option and you enable that, and then we re-import the document, click on the import Google Doc button. And that's just gonna import the doc from Google Docs into Figma. But this time it's gonna only import one page. So we can see here that instead of splitting up the pages, it's actually just imported all of the content onto one frame. So that can actually be handy if you want to uh, just drop all of the content into a single frame rather than a page-based structure in Figma. If it's actually easier for you, just have one massive frame where whether you're going to use it as a mock-up or whether you're going to use it as um, more of just a content import rather than an exact design uh, as, as a page-based design, then maybe this option is going to be more useful for you in that case. Um, and on that topic, the other thing we can do is we can also click on this second option, which is an option to remove styles and formatting. So I'll show you what that looks like. If you, if you enable the remove styles and formatting option, and again, click on the import Google doc button, that's going to re-import the document from Google docs into Figma. But this time you'll notice that it looks quite different. And the reason for that is this option to remove styles and formatting basically just standardizes the styles of the document rather than using the exact styles uh, that you specified in Google Docs. For example, we've got the colors and the font sizes and the font settings, uh, spacing, all that sort of stuff that's been defined in this Google Doc. It's basically been, been ignored in favor of the formatting of the document. So what I mean by that is you can see here when I highlight these bits of text, uh, it's using formatting that's predefined into these categories of title, heading, uh, different level headings, for example, paragraphs. And you can see that the document structure is really based around these headings and formatting options. So what this option does in the Figma plugin is it removes all of the styling that's been applied to these, and it just uses those um, semantic headings to then predefine uh, its own styles. So it really just simplifies the document. If you've got a really crazy document or it's just very um, uh, complicated with lots of styling and you just want to simplify it and just really just import the content from Google Docs to Figma without worrying too much about the exact design, then this is going to be a good option for you to do that. Um, and the other cool thing is because there's no exact spaces and all that sort of stuff, you can then really easily also just format the document yourself. So if you wanted to change the spacing between those paragraphs and headings, you can do that just by tweaking the item spacing. And that's gonna give you a really easy way of uh, changing the spacing and stuff like that. And you can also go ahead and of course, format these uh, text fields in another way. If you don't like the color or you don't like the styles, 
you can always just go ahead and change those yourself. So you can obviously change the colors of things in Figma and style text in Figma as you'd expect. So we can obviously change the fonts and, um, and make that look a little bit different as well. So that's all obviously doable. But as I said, this might be an option if you just wanna really uh, get a simplified version of a document into Figma without worrying about the exact uh, styling working. Um, so the only downside to this approach is if you're using a file or Google Doc like this one, which does have a table layout, it will basically import all of that content as a table and it won't really uh, work as well if it's more of a designed layout. So I wouldn't recommend using that option here. So I'll show you what that looks like uh, just as an example. It's not really gonna be that good or that useful. So because these are really table cells, it's still importing all the content, but it's importing them into a table as if it was a data table inside of a page. So as I said, I probably would avoid using that option if you're using a complex layout like this. But for a regular single column document, which most column uh, documents are just really a single column with content in it, uh, you can definitely use that remove styles and formatting option. And just one more thing before I finish up the tutorial is if you're wondering where all those pages are getting created, if you expand your pages um, option up in the top left here, you'll be able to see that we've got a history of all of the documents that we imported. So every time you run the import Google Doc button or click that button and import a document from Google Docs into your Figma file, it will automatically create a new page with a timestamp to let you know when that was imported. So you can see here, we've got the different timestamps and it will automatically use the title of the document. So we've got essay and resume and we'll automatically name the pages with the title of the Google Doc as well. So um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, so I'll leave the tutorial there for today. I just wanted to run through the different options in the plugin, uh, just to go through what all of those do. Uh, there will be more options coming to the plugin in the future. So being able to support things like custom headers and footers, all of that sort of good stuff uh, will be included in a future version of the plugin. But for now, this is in beta. So there's gonna be a couple of things that you know, may not look exactly right, but this will be improved over time and resolved over time. So uh, just be uh, bear with us on that one and uh, we'll leave the tutorial there for today. And if you wanna have a bit of a play around with this, you can uh, use the plugin right now. As I said, this has been shipped to the plugin. You can just select that option to import Google Docs to Figma, uh, give it a try while it's still in beta. And as I said, it'll be improving over time, but I hope that helps your workflow if you're using Google Docs uh, at, at work or in your personal usage and you wanna get that content into Figma really easily, then using the import Google Docs uh, to Figma feature in Convertify is gonna be the fastest way to go about it rather than uh, re-importing all of that content manually yourself. So um, as always, thank you for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.